welcome back to explore electronics in this video let's see 20 very important questions in digital system design using verilog subject here i have listed out only four four questions from each module so totally 20 important questions in module 1 queen maklewski method you may get question like this they are going to give some function like this this is just an example and you need to implement using queen maklewski method Similarly, the second question is on KMAP simplification. They will give the function like this. This is a four variable function. You may get three variable, four variable or five variable function. You need to simplify this using KMAP. And then again, a KMAP simplification question, you may get like this also. And then this will be on canonical form. You need to write the equations in proper canonical form. You may get this question also. And then coming to the second module, implement the following function using 8 is to 1 marks like this you will be getting a function you need to implement it using 8 is to 1 multiplexer so this question is also many times asked in the previous exam then two bit comparator you realize using logic gates some of you are asking for some standard theory questions apart from the problematic questions like this so you can learn two bit comparator 8 is to 3 encoder with priority without priority and then general structure of PLD with a block diagram and you will be asked to implement some function using PLD also and derive the characteristic equation for SR flip-flop, JK flip-flop, D flip-flop and T flip-flop and obtaining the minimal sums. So these are some theory questions you can expect or the direct questions without any uh, problematic type of questions you can expect from module 2 and coming to module 3 that is JK flip-flop and shift registers. 3 bit synchronous upcounter design using JK flip flop. This is very important. These are the kind of questions you can get in module 3. Coming to module 4, it is Verilog, structure of Verilog module with an example, different types of operators available in Verilog with logical bitwise operators and shifting operators, the kind of questions you will get in Verilog. And Verilog code for 3 bit carry look ahead order and also ripple carry order is repeatedly asked questions you can easily expect this question on Verilog code if you learn ripple carry order and carry look ahead order out of those two one question will be sure in the exam and initial statement and always statement you need to explain the importance where we are going to use initial and always statements in Verilog uh, this is with respect to module 5 and and different types of looping statements also uh, many times asked in the previous exams here you need to give some examples how the looping statements are going to be used and similarly implement 2 is to 4 decoder using k statement so this is behavioral level uh, questions so these are few of the important questions and some theory part of questions i have included here so that it is easy for you for exam and also you need to learn the truth table logic circuit for mux dmux encoders decoders for sure without miss and also logic circuit for full adder and full subtractor, 4 bit adder subtractor and carry look ahead adder, implementation of decoder using a decoder and PLD, true table and circuit for all the flip flops including master slave flip flop need to be learned and also the characteristic equation and the excitation table and Verilog code for MUX, encoder, ripple carry adder, carry look ahead adder in data flow and behavioral modeling. Whatever the course you have learned in the practicals, you make use of that while writing the examples in theory exam. And also Verilog syntax for the data types and looping statements, if else statements, case statements with examples you are supposed to write and Verilog code for flip flop and counters. So these are some of the questions which we see repeatedly in exams with respect to Verilog and logic design. So digital system design using Verilog consisting of both digital part as well as the very log so these are the questions you can expect easily here which i have given the functions are just randomly taken as examples so in place of these you may get different types of functions also this is just for reference don't depend on only these things so these are the very important questions you can expect and also shift registers different types of shift uh, shift registers and their implementation also very important and counter designs and all one question will be there for sure in exam using T flip flop or JK flip flop like that. So this is about the 20 important questions for exam. Thank you.